Welcome to episode number eight of So You Want to Be a Star in the Music Business. Today's topic is very exciting for a couple of reasons. We're talking about money, uh, old school dollar dollar bill, y'all. We're trying to make sure you make this money and you don't lose your money or somebody takes your money from you. So today's topic is about money and how not to lose your money. So um, I'm going to bring this topic up by asking Mr. Weiss here a few questions. Um, just something as a performer that you definitely should know is very important. Anything dealing with a contract and performing, whether you are the star or if you're a backup singer to a star, something that you need to know. So, Mr. Weiss. Yes, sir. As a performing artist, what's one key thing that you suggest in their paperwork, one clause that they should include to make sure that they don't get ripped off? In most cases, you're not going to know if the person who follows you on the bill or who is singing next to you in the lineup, if you're a backup singer or just a member of the band, if they're making more or less than you, because people lie. They tell you, yeah, I'm making the same thing as you, but they happen to be the niece of the producer, and so they're getting more. It's very simple. You don't have to argue. All you do is ask for one particular clause to be added to your contract. And that's all today's lesson is. It's called a favored nation clause. F-A-V-O-R-E-D. Favored nations, sorry, with an S, clause in your contract. And what it says... Yeah, so what is a favored nation oh, clause? Good, funny you should ask, <laughs> Mr. Curtin. Uh, all it means... It's, it's going to be two sentences, perhaps. Uh, and by the way, you can find the exact wording in uh, my book, Managing Artists in Pop Music. Funny how I get a little commercial in there, which is available on Amazon.com. Again, Managing Artists in Pop Music on Allworth Press. It's only $10. Nice and simple. It's in its second edition, co-written with Perry Gaffney. Moving right along. It's going to say that no one working in a similar capacity as you will make more than you. And if for any reason they do end up making more than you do, your fee automatically goes up to what theirs will be. It's that simple. Because very often you may be the first or second artist to be hired and you don't know in what order they're hiring. If, if you're in a festival and they have 20 acts you don't know if you're the second act they hired and there are going to be another 18 after you. So this just basically says, hey, look, you, you know, Mr. Producer, you can hire whoever you want. Just make sure you know that if you end up paying somebody else more, you got to give it to me too. Um, if they say no, it's a big clue. Of course, if you're not a famous person and somebody hired as a famous person is... Uh, put on, most likely they are going to make more than you. So it is also fair for the producer to add another sentence saying, except in the case of a major star, but they should probably list exactly who they're thinking of right there. Um, and that's, that's a really good point. It, it made me think of my old jobs, <laughs> old part-time jobs. I should have talked to my managers about favorite nations to make sure these other guys weren't getting paid more than me. But like you mentioned, if you are the big star, Mm -hmm. Is there another type of favored nations clause for the, the bigger star? Excellent question, Mr. Curtin. Uh, it is a variation on a theme. It is called a more favored nations clause. And basically all this is saying is I'm not making equal to everybody else here. I'm actually making more than anybody else being hired. Uh, and if, by any chance, anyone ends up making the same amount as me, my salary all automatically goes up to beat out everybody else. Uh, the, and that is pretty much for a celebrity or somebody in a special position who says, I'm not playing second fiddle to anybody. Uh, and again, what this is, is you know, you're asking, well, you haven't hired everyone in a particular concert we haven't hired anyone in a particular recording session. You haven't hired everyone in a particular Broadway show. 
um, how do I make sure that what I'm agreeing to is not less than what somebody else uh, who is related to you or who tricked you is getting? Mm -hmm. And that's why you ask for this. Very simple. You just go up to your agent, your manager, your lawyer, uh, the other side, and say, can you just please add a favored nations clause, or can you just please add a more favored nations clause? And you don't even have to explain it. They should know what you're talking about. And if and, they act like they don't, then that's a problem. And if they say no, it gives you a clue that you have more talking to do with them. You don't have to call them a crook. You just have to say, well, that tells me that you may be paying somebody more than me who's doing the same work. Mm -hmm. um, so can you please explain to me why and who you're doing it to? You at least have the answer. So to, that's today's lesson. Uh, we will have a lot more of these things. There are a lot more little clauses you can remember. And um, we send a shout out today to your book. My book. <laughs> I think We're going that's a perfect shout out. Um, All right. Google, Google always helps. Backwards. Look up Favor Nations Clause. Look up more Favor Nations Clause. Check out Managing it's Arts. It's on page pop 20, music. by the way, in the book. Page 20, Amazon.com. Um, hopefully, we taught you how to keep your money in your pocket. And I know that's only a dollar. That's all I'm playing with here. Um, and who we are again, I'm Kevin Curtin. Mitch Weiss. Um, check out the website www.mwentgroup.com Twitter is uh, underscore MWEG uh, Facebook is MWENT Group so we're all over Tumblr there everywhere just social media it out and if there yeah and if there's a topic you need write to us you know let us know and please tell your friends and family anybody you might want to be in the music business uh, we're giving you basics but Keep your money. That's right. Until next time. Take care.